begin, O Holy Will, as we begin our Senakel, we pray you, we beg you, we implore you not to leave us, not even one instant, so that you speak, you write, you listen in us. You will make yourself known and make known how you want to be the life of all in order to give your goods to all. If you let us do it, we won't be able to make you known as you want because we are incapable. But if you do it, you will triumph, you will be known, and you will have your kingdom in our Senakel and in the whole world. O Holy Will, with your power, you eclipse all the evils of the creatures. You put your almighty end so that they leave the way of sin and find themselves in the way of your divine will. To you, Queen Mother of the Divine Fiat, we consecrate this Senakel in a special way so that your love, your maternity, may be spread throughout the readings and inspirations we share to call your children to live together with you in that same will whose kingdom you possess. As we start kneeling at your feet, we implore your maternal blessing, our love and our life. Your will has the virtue of multiplying your life for as many human beings that exist and will exist on earth. And we, in your will, want to form as many Jesuses in order to give the whole of you to its soul in purgatory, to its blessed in heaven, and to its being living on earth. So we begin. Invocation to the divine will in all our actions. I am nothing. God is all. Father, I love you. Come, divine will, to think in my mind, to circulate in my blood, to look with my eyes, to listen in my ears, to speak in my voice, to breathe in my breathing, to beat in my heart, to move in my motion, to suffer in my suffering, and may my soul consumed and fused with your will be the living crucifix immolated for the glory of the father to pray in me and then offer this prayer to yourself as mine to satisfy for the prayers of all and to give to the father the glory that all creatures should give him to infuse in me the faith of mary most holy in order to possess you as she possessed you, to infuse in me the hope of Ma the faith, the hope of Mary most holy, in order to desire you as she desired you, to infuse in me the charity of Mary most holy, in order to love you as she loved you, to adore in me and since your will multiplies acts to the infinite. Thus, I intend to give you the satisfaction as if all had assisted at Holy Mass and give to all the fruit of the sacrifice and impetrate salvation for all. Amen. Ever holy and indivisible Trinity, I adore you profoundly. I love you intensely. And I thank you perpetually for all and in the hearts of all. Ever holy and indivisible Trinity, I adore you profoundly. I love you intensely. And I thank you perpetually for all and in the hearts of all. Ever holy and indivisible Trinity, I adore you profoundly. I love you intensely. And I thank you perpetually for all and in the hearts of all. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> <laughs>
Use in the divine we, let us enter to the liturgy of the word this coming Sunday, Feast of the Holy Family. Our theme, Gift of the Holy Family. Your family is the Trinity. Our introduction this Sunday, God is pleased to give us the shining example of the Holy Family that we may imitate them in the practice of the virtues of family life and bonds of charity, and thus enjoy the delights of the eternal life. In the divine will, our family is the Holy Trinity. We live its divine life and delight in it even while on earth. First reading, Brother Jerome. Come divine will to read in my reading. It is God who builds the human family. The wise man Sirach teaches us that in order to live a family life pleasing to God, parents should love their children, and children should honor and care for their parents, especially in their old age. A reading from the book of the prophet, Sirach. God sets a father in honor, in honor over his children. A mother's authority he confirms over her sons. He who honors his father atones for sins. He stores up riches who reveres his mother's mother. He who honors his father is gladdened by children. And when he prays, he is heard. He who rever reveres his father will live a long life. He obeys the Lord who brings comfort to his mother. My son, take care of your father when he is old. Grieve him not as long as he lives. Even if his mind fail, be considerate with him. Revile him not in the fullness of your strength. For kindness to a father will not be forgotten. Firmly planted against the death of your sins. A house raised in justice to you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Second reading. Second reading. Come divine will read in my reading. The Apostle Paul reminds us that true faith in God and the true Christian holiness are seen in acts of kindness, humility, patience, and love. Faith is lived in a family where husband and wife and children love and care for one another. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, put on them as God chosen ones, holy and beloved, heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If one has a grievance against another, as the Lord has forgiven you, you must you so so must you also do and over all this put on love that is the band of perfection and let the peace of christ control your hearts the peace into which you were also called in one body and and be thankful let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as in all wisdom you teach and admonish one another, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus giving thanks to God, the Father, through Him. 
wives be subordinate to your husband as is proper in the Lord. Husbands, love your wife and avoid any bitterness toward them. Children, obey your parents in everything, for this is pleasing to the Lord. Fathers, do not provoke your children so that they may not become discouraged. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thank you. Views in the divine will, let us stand to honor the Holy Gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. In the past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets. In these last days, He has spoken to us through the Son. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And the joy of the Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you. Glory, glory to you, O Lord. When the days were completed for their purification according to the law of Moses, they took him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. Just as it is written, in the law of the Lord, every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord. And to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons, in accordance with the dictate of the law of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Messiah of the Lord. He came and his spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought him in the child, Jesus, to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took Jesus to perform the custom of the law. He took him him into, his arms. into his arms and blessed God, saying, Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen the salvation which you prepared in the sight of all the peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and the glory your people, Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary's mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted, and you yourself a sword that pierce, so that the thoughts of many Parts may be revealed. There was also a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Anuel, or the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years, having lived seven years with her husband after <clears throat> her marriage, and then as a widow until she was 84. <laughs> she never left the temple, but worshipped night and day with fasting and prayer. And coming forward at that very time, she gave thanks to God and spoke about a child to all who were awaiting the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong. Very wisdom and favor of God was upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. In the divine will and sitting on the lap of Mama Mary, Mother of Jesus, let us continue pondering the words of her son in the light of the Gospel sharing of Reverend Father Roland and Reverend Father Prank. 
Aber ich bitte dich zu Gott, Holy Family. For the feast of the Holy Family of Jesus, Mary and Joseph, the little bit talks of the presentation of the Lord. Luke 2, 22. Thus teaching us that the family is the school of love and holiness. The gospel presents to us a family that is attuned to God's commandments and words. Joseph and Mary are presented as faithful and true followers of tradition coming all the way to the Mosaic law. Every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord. Jesus is the firstborn son, so he has to be consecrated to the Lord. Simeon the prophet blessed God who brought salvation to his people to retire Jesus. A light for revelation to the Gentiles and the glory for your people Israel. After fulfilling the requirements of the law, Mary and Joseph took Jesus to a hidden life for 30 years, waiting for his manifestation to Israel. Lucifer character is our model in celebrating the feast of the Holy Family for a great love and devotion of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, and for the promotion of the kingdom of the divine you. We have some more quotes, and uh, these are uh, quotes uh, coming from the Pope and also from, uh, from uh, spiritual writing. Okay, the first quote is from Pope Paul VI. Nazareth. Therefore, it is a nice reflection on Nazareth. Uh, this is, of course, an important part of the Holy Family because our Lord stayed in uh, Nazareth for so long a time. Therefore, this is the quote. May Nazareth teach us what the family is. In its communion of love, its austere and simple beauty, and its sacred and inviolable character. Let us learn from Nazareth that the formation that one receives is gentle and irreplaceable, and that on the social level, it is primordial and without comparison. O Nazareth, home of the carpenter's son, it is here that we would like to understand and celebrate the hard and redemptive law of human work. To establish the noble value of labor. To remember that work cannot be an end in itself, but that its freedom and ability, in addition to its economic value, come from the values that underlie its end. And in this place, we wish to salute all the works of workers of the world and show them the great mother, the divine brother, the prophet of all the just causes, Christ our Lord. So it comes from uh, oh, Paul VI, addressing us. The full text, of course, uh, much uh, more detailed. You can take a look at uh, the internet. The next one comes from a spiritual writer, also quoted in uh, our website. The Holy Family is a sign for every family, and we should model ourselves after them. Okay, it is a very, uh, it's a common expression, but it is really something that we often yeah. forget. The Holy Family is a sign for every family and we should model ourselves after them. I desire that every family will receive this message to have a representation of the Holy Family in their home. It will be an icon or a statue of the Holy Family or a permanent manger in a central place of honor. 
The representation must be blessed and consecrated by a priest. And this is from Special Protection and the Family. I think that the later part comes from uh, Louisa herself, how she was saying that uh, the Holy Family should be in their home. It should be an icon or a statue of the Holy Family, or a permanent manger in the central place for the house. The representation must be blessed and consecrated by a priest. This came again from the internet, Father Michael Ubri. Okay. I end my little experience. I have a little comment. I would like to again thank uh, the Wing and uh, Jerome for their communication. There was a special one from Father Thomas or Tommy. Celso, never other Celso, he wanted to use, but actually, that is his last name. And uh, it, of course, it is a very, very long, uh, long uh, article, uh, article, but, but uh, one thing that uh, impressed me, he was trying to show that uh, 2004, 2024, 2024, would be an interesting year. They were said that uh, for us in the, in the divine realm, we should look at uh, the year 2024 as even more interesting than 2023. And uh, we said that uh, it will be actually also year of the Lord. Uh, 2024 will be the beginning of the uh, of the blessed year of the Lord, and then come this document from Rome, and Father Celso was uh, promoting that, and also Wing in the introduction for our feast of the Holy Family, she mentioned that uh, the Indian life in so many years was actually like a preparation to prepare for the kingdom of the divine will. Therefore, there's something uh, something that we could uh, think about how uh, the new year, for example, they're coming to 2024, how this 2024 could actually be a preparation just like uh, our Lord spent 30 years 30 years in uh, Nazareth, and then only uh, probably priests and uh, well, for three years. It is what we are actually doing. We do all of these uh, years that uh, are under us and try to prepare for the kingdom of the divine will, just as Jesus did for preaching the kingdom during his lifetime. Okay, that will my little sharing there. Thank you. Now, uh, for my part, the idea uh, of having the Sunday after Christmas as the Sunday of the Holy Family, it's good for us to realize, first of all, that Jesus chose to be born in a family. He could have, as, as St. Augustine always said, in his absolute uh, power, he, he did not choose, he did not have to choose to become a, to come into this world uh, through a family, but he chose that. And that is something for us to realize how sacred family life is all about. Secondly, uh, family is where everything is takes its roots as people. Uh, here, I was actually reflecting on the hidden life of Jesus, which was spent with the family, with Joseph and Mary, 
for 30 years. So. <clears throat> that is much longer than any formation towards religious life. <clears throat> and uh, the length tells me that it's not a question of learning things in our mind, but learning to do things so that we can choose and we can develop what uh, writers would say, even uh, St. Paul or even Sirach, uh, to develop the virtues uh, that are to be, that are supposed to be developed only in a home. And uh, it's very interesting this 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 uh this second reading from uh, Saint Paul to the Colossians is also read during the wedding, and here it tells us about the virtues that should be practiced and should be learned and should be practiced in a home. That's why we call the home the school of virtues. It is the, the best school that we should have uh, because that is where we learn to respect one another. We learn how to forgive one another. We learn how to be patient. And uh, it gives us opportunity also to be generous, to practice generosity and to be humble uh, and uh, so on. These are the so-called family virtues. Uh, so it's good for us, not just that, no? in the letter to the Colossians, compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another, and forgiving one another if one has a grievance against another. As the Lord has forgiven you, so you must also do. <clears throat> so these are the virtues. But then, then St. Paul, to, to put a crown on these virtues, he says, uh, and over all these, put on love, which is the bond of perfection. It is only in, in, the, in the home that we, should, that, that we can learn the real meaning of love. Outside of the home, usually love has become more, more a sexual uh, thing and more uh, uh, self-satisfying more than anything else. But love and the home is really the love that, uh, as St. John also said, that with which God loves us all the time. It is a one-way ticket. It's a love that in which God uh, bestows upon us, not because we deserve, uh, and, uh, but simply because he chose to love us. And that is how we should develop that. Our love should be a choice, should be a decision that we have to make. And that this decision becomes a way of life. And uh, to me, if, if only kahit na one third lang of the families in the parish are trying to practice or develop these virtues, medyo maganda-ganda na yun. Now, we will, we will be spending less for uh, security, spending, spending less for uh, for confidential, uh, confidential uh, fine, fine. funds, we, we we don't need all of those. If only we develop, if only we try to tell people to develop these family virtues, I'm sure we will be more productive because with these virtues, people will develop their talents, the talents that God has given each and every one of them then each one will be supportive to each, to each other. Competition will be a healthy competition. 
not so much uh, uh, grafting corruption, but it's a competition that will develop whatever God has given us and to develop it to the utmost that we can use, not so much to make money, but to be of service to one another. Service, I think, should be uh, on the, the, the output of a, a, a healthy family life. When people serve so, no, or chooses to serve one another. Love and service, they, are, they go together. Uh, right now, we usually serve uh, in, in exchange for monetary consideration. But service really should be free, just like God's love to us is free, uh, without any cost, without any uh, any string attached. And uh, I think uh, if, of course, one thing that that I also got uh, my attention was called in the first reading, uh, it says if you honor your father. You will atone. No, it's just that he who honors his father. Ah, oh, yeah. He who he who honors his father atones for sins. Uh, siguro, ang ibig sabihin niya ni, uh, no one is perfect, huh? And uh, many times we have to atone for the sins of our fathers, of our, of our, of our elders. And then uh, that is part of being in a family, you know. That's why I, I always like, I always like to, uh, when you talk about family, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a uh, family means father and mother, I love you. Uh, all of those. And it begins with the father and the mother. Uh, so we atone for each other's sins. Ika nga, hindi ka nag-iisa. Kung mayroon man ng kasala, tayo sama-sama magtulungan. Kung mayroon man tayong ginagawa, magtulungan din. Uh, the benefit should always be of the family not one over the other. So, uh, this is a very, very uh, idealistic way of, but I think we need that kind of idealism. Uh, that's the only one, that's the only antidote to what is happening now. Broken homes, uh, which to me is a uh, uh, a fruit of uh, we are ignoring God's love for us. To me, that is the fruit that we don't care about God's love for us. Whereas if we have uh, developed that family life, then it means that uh, we also are aware that God first loved us. So for me, but then above all, we must also must also develop faith. You know, faith is always basic to a family. Uh, you know, in the uh, in the responsorial psalm, in the wedding, uh, it shows uh, that the earth is full of uh, the earth is has plentiful. So we should not worry about because uh, oh, uh, we look at family life as a, as a burden because of the requirement, especially financial requirement. But uh, if we approach family with faith, God will provide always. Uh, but faith that makes us do things according to what we know. Not faith that is passive, but faith that is active. Faith that will work for justice. Faith that will make us, enable us to love even the unlovable. 
enable us to forgive even the unforgivable. A love that will enable us to always say, I love you before going to, to before going to bed. So I'm not going to bed yet, but I would like to conclude by saying I love you all. <laughs> <laughs> Love you too, Thank Father. You, <laughs> love you too in the divine will, Father Roland, Father Frank. Thank you. Thank you. Cannot hear Tita Wing. Mag-co-host ka kaya, Brother Jerome, kay Sister Wing? Mm, yeah. Siya po yung may kakayahan nun eh. Mag Oo nga. Admin ko. Oo. Di, siya, mayroon siya. siya problema daw sa ano niya. Ojo. Sis Lalin, please continue daw. Mm, I, I also <laughs> went out and just came back. <laughs> Because ano, nawala din ako kanina. Maybe I can ano lang po, share while uh, I was reading kasi this the first reading po. Uh, I had that okay. I had the chance kasi I think oh yeah, this Christmas to together with my brother who is in Canada and my father to talk over ano lang po messenger. Ayun nga na banggit nga father eh, whoever honors his father atones for since um my f well just to give a ano po a background my father 78 years old he is not uh, practicing uh, his faith <laughs> unlike my ma is my mother is uh, the one who is uh, a devout one so my father is um uh, i would say he is a he mas malakas pa kayo father eight mga 80 na kayo, di ba? And he, oh. <laughs> physically and also lalo na spiritually father. So, um, yun nga, we were talking with my, ano, uh, younger, uh, young, the, our youngest brother. Uh, he's um, talk about the, ano, the uh, in terms of sa so physically, ma, ma, mapagaling. But ako naman, I was also thinking about the, ano, Uh, kasi nasa Davao kasi yung yung ano tat parents ko so I was thinking actually of uh, I al already told my my mother and then I consulted uh, I think a priest na kasin din <laughs> na sana if he could could also give a sacrament of anointing of the sick to him pero hindi pwede kasi he's from the north Ilocos my father is from the so he advised to ano po um tawag na ito uh, look for a priest somewhere there in Davao but yun nga yung the challenge actually is that he uh, knowing my father he he he, <laughs> he does not ano eh tawag na ito One time kasi nandito siya, naka-visit naka siya ng di, dito sa, sa Mandaluyong from ano. I invited him to go to, ano, sabi ko, walking lang naman nung church. <laughs> Hindi talaga. <laughs> Ayaw niya. Ayaw niya pumunta ng ano. So, I told him several times na to also even confession, ganyan. He does not believe, sabi, parang makasalanan yan, mga ganyan. He has his own, ano ba, kanyang, we cannot, 
ano but uh, I continue to pray ito nga sabi honor pa rin no even if uh, kasi I'm also a father so I I need also to atone so we hopefully po my with my mother communication communication kanina na to schedule baka kasi pagdating ng pare ano mag praying na hindi isa mag ano maging magwala or <laughs> diba or so against his will hopefully that that is my uh, prayer that kasi nga po yeah. because of ano nga po talaga he has this uh, heart na very um, cannot forgive he he, he he parang he sort of live in the past eh mga po balik sa sa dati o oh, ganyan ganyan uh, so he, he I told him to for, forget and forgive but di ganun kadali para sa ano so uh, I continue lang po talaga to pray and then ito nga po yung wala nga po yung mag-in ako dito at lumabas so sila naman di rin po sila talaga na kapag simba but nakita ko dun sa sa Facebook parang nag-post yung wife ko nag-simba sila ng ma- kahapon nagtanong yung yung mother ko oh, nag-post yung si Helen yung wife ko ng ano diyan sa kasi we ate together kasi then I just dropped by lang dito sa Divine Mercy tapos sila uuwi na daw pero pala nagpunta sila doon sa Rockwell to get, to go yata to church and uh, ano pa so uh, I just ano lang po siguro continue pa rin talaga yung prayer for the family because sabi nyo nga one third of the virtues nga lang dito eh okay na <laughs> kami wala pa yata kami one third so I continue to as a father uh, uh, yeah I, I, I continue to ask also of course the intercession also of Saint Joseph to protect uh, all the family of course not only us but I believe there are also several families out there na who spend more time in the mall than going to church. So that's the ano. But I I still do believe yung sinasabi kanina 2024. <laughs> I don't know Father Celso ba yun na um, mm. it would be a good year but uh, of course we know that uh, what happened what is happening around the world is not that good even uh, with the recent mga ano di ba yung mga fiducia <laughs> ano ni Pope there are controversies but um, we pray that yun nga sabi nga doon sa Romans di ba that where sin abounds grace abounds more so keep coming ng sins na yan but the grace will be keeping coming through the divine will so yun lang po ay yung aking gustong i-share May God be praised po. Thank you po. Thank you, Brother Jerome. Sister Wang, are you in na? Yes. Thanks be to thank God you. and the Divine thank Will. You. Thanks to nice my children. Nice to hear your voice. Yes, Talalin. Talalin. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Now go yeah. ahead, Sister Wang. Because no, I, I, was, I, was, I was lost again. So please continue and I will enter na lang when I have something to, um, to share. Uh, where are we na? Kasi I just came back also. I, mm-hmm. I got out also without knowing who I <laughs> Where are we na, Brother Jerome? Sharing. sharing lang po nung about sa re- liturgical reading liturgical reading ah okay oo yeah uh, family talaga is very important uh, in my case family is number one huh? kasi parang it's doon nagmumula lahat eh how you grew up 
when you were a child, and then you had your own family, how you would want your family to be in harmony, to be at peace at all times. <laughs> and uh, uh, for me, uh, there yes, always praying and entrusting everyone, each one. Whatever comes, whatever uh, we are with, we always uh, first, first foremost sa amin is, kunyari, may mga acquisition ka, you have it blessed, or ano, uh, in all aspects in life, parang pareho nung pag nanganak ka, baptism ka agad, before, before, within one month, Tapos, family din. All, number one talaga, ano, in, entrustment of your life to the Holy Trinity. And most especially, in my case, I always uh, invoke the Blessed Virgin sa lahat ng mga nangyayari sa buhay ko. <laughs> sa lahat ng mga challenges sa lahat ng mga problema, sa lahat ng mga, lahat-lahat, lahat, welfare, studies, business, we, yun ang talagang number one uh, sa, sa amin. And uh, we keep that tradition that, uh, we we always gather everyone and we see to it that they are not afraid of us they can tell us anything bad or good they're open because uh problems shared are are easily solved when everyone helps in joys and in sorrows both without exemption. So, with the entrustment of our family, we see that uh, it's easy to approach each one. And you just have to be careful also and be mindful. Hindi naman yung barabara mong hihingian ng, ano, ng advice or whatever. You have to also balance kung ano yung what Ano yung situation nila? So, it's a give and take situation. And, uh, uh, you can see that uh, they are open to you. They can tell you anything. Because they know that whether it's good news or bad news, everyone helps. And when everyone helps, it's a uh, problem, half of your problem is solved. So, uh, yun ang na-notice ko and uh, we really instill on our children that uh, nandyan lang ang familia to help them. To share with them all their joys and their sorrows. That's all. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Lalin. So, um, um, divine meal to share in my sharing. Um, nakikita po natin talaga ngayon sa ating panahon na the family is under attack. <clears throat> um, what we are known for as a Catholic nation. Um, now, studies would show that even Catholic families are very much affected by the, by separation and uh, divorce as well. And uh, dito po nakita yung the need really for um, the family to be really yeah. developed in deep faith. And so, um, 
because my children are very busy with their uh, work, seem to me na it is my role to uh, implant faith among the uh, grandchildren. Things which uh, my my children would couldn't do anymore or very minimal as far as uh, their uh, spirit hour is concerned. So, um, nakita ko po yung kahalagahan talaga na from the very beginning, from the time that the children could uh, understand to speak, they should also understand about God. And uh, at that, at their innocent age, uh, they, they are really more open and uh, they are more, uh, uh, they, they, they perceive uh, about God through creation and also through the love which are being given to them. So um, the little prayers that uh, we can tell them, the sign of the cross, and then bringing them to church, and then also the little prayers like, yung pong dito sa divine will kasi madali kasi ituro na, come Jesus, come to eat in me, come Jesus to pray in me, kahit na po yung mga four years old, five years old, madali nilang gawin yon and then come Jesus to play with me, and uh, to travel in us. So, uh, the angel of God, uh, maliit pa lang talagang uh, tinuturo ko na sa kanila. And uh, one day, I tested, sabi ko, uh, I told them about our God and the three divine persons. <laughs> and, <laughs> although, this is a bit <laughs> um, um, abstract, maybe, but then, they are listening. So, uh, for me, napakahalaga talaga po nung maituro itong mga ganitong basic of our faith. And if we, the little children of the divine, we would begin again uh, in our family, reminding them of the basic of basics of our faith. And then, reminding them again and again, kasi yung matatanda na mas mahirap turuan. And sometimes, they get irritated pag, when they are being reminded about uh, the basic duties of our faith. But yet, um, this is really family. Um, we, we who know a little bit more about our faith should be uh, transmitting them to our children and to our grandchildren. At kahit na doon sa mga nearby family members natin. So, uh, yes, I believe that this is what we need in our times. We revival of uh, the basic catechisms in the family, uh, parents and grandparents most especially, should be helping uh, the family to, to really revive that faith which we inherited from our grandparents and also what we have uh, learned from our church and from our school. So, uh, talaga pong ito ang kailangan, kailangan natin with faith and all the other virtues will follow. And the family, through the help of our mother, will be whole again, like what we used to have before. End of sharing po. At mayroon lang ako isang idadagdag, Sister Wang, mm-hmm. while you were sharing. While you were sharing, I was reminded that I am a believer of saying ni Father Peyton na the family that prays together stays together. Mm-hmm. Yes. In lang po. In lang. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, we have to bring back that uh, uh, Father Peyton's famous line, the family that prays together stays together. Kahit sa loob lang ng kotse kasi sa bahay talaga ang hirap ang hirap i- i-unite God to gather together the whole, all family members to pray. So kahit sa kotse, pagka nagtatravel, then it's just that that's the time to pray together. And then... 
kahit mga small prayers lang basta uh, we remind our children and our grandchildren to connect always with our God through our faith. Um, anyone else? Sister Ami. So, magpapaalam na si Father Roland. No, Father. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm really sick. Uh, Lord be with you. Lord be with you. Lord be with you. Lord be with you. I pray you God both on the potential stairs. Father, I feel your spirit is comfortable. Amen. Amen. I heard the family that Praise together. Praise together. Praise together. Praise together. Praise together. Thank you very much, po, Father. We Thank love you. To Father Rola. Salamat mm -hmm. po. <laughs> so. And with this, and with this COVID, talagang uh, because uh, we had been staying home. We always pray every day as a family. Mm -hmm. Chaplet of the Divine Mercy Rosary and the Chaplet of Saint Joseph. So, yeah. uh, uh oh, ah, uh, sarap, ang sarap, sarap ng ano. We'll find ah uh, little joys and. <laughs> Mahirap yan share. Basta masaya ka lang. <laughs> <laughs> the joy coming from within. Yes, yes, yes. So we continue pondering the word of God in the light of the teachings of the Holy Mother Church. It's the logic. Theology? Uh, yes, sir, Tita Beng. Oh, Merry Christmas. Christ, second Christmas namin dito sa yes. Germany. Kaya naka Santa Claus ako. Uh -huh, yeah, it's okay. Christmas oh. talaga dyan, ano? December 25. Oh, 25 and 26. Ah? Dalawa. <laughs> Dalawa. <laughs> Dalawa. <laughs> Nasobrahan ako. But, Tita Weng, but she, I, I share also with the family uh, okay. tradition in us just mm -hmm. because uh, come a uh, divine meal in my sharing just because through the years I was not with my family in the Philippines my brothers and uh, sisters so it's only now that I'm I'm now uh, free to go at any time so I share them my uh, my joy how to live in the Lord so ito parang nagbibigay din ako ng uh, catechesis as I do here, seminar retreat, yung ganun ba, parang recollection within the family din. So what I did now is uh, I have to share a family meal and that's the time we converse with one another. Mm -hmm. So I cook and then I invite my, especially my two brothers uh, at home. So that's the time now I had to correct. So sometimes, siyempre, mataas ang boses ko. Yung ganun dan, fraternal correction, especially I'm the eldest. And I have also the duty to know what is their uh, <clears throat> their faith, the love, and also uh, to love one another in Christ. So sharing a meal to them is the nice way. So we have to have uh, interaction with one another, especially my brother is um, um, uh, came from Saudi for a long, long time. So merong pagka Muslim. So uh, anyway, we all talk about God. So ayun lang po. So we have understanding, love. So Yung I'm humble enough to share my faith being a Catholic. So yung gentleness at saka patience ko talagang uh, sumisiklab sa Ilocano. Yung very fiery. So ito ngayon, and then that's it. They understand me and being the eldest. So I share the Catholic faith and we all 
go to share the word of the Lord. So, ayun lang po. Thank you. Thank you so uh, much. Now, I I have to begin now my <clears throat> my duty, my fear to the Lord. So, come divine will in my reading, meditation one, the holy family, CCC 533, the hidden life at Nazareth allows everyone to enter into fellowship with Jesus by the most ordinary events of daily life. The home of Nazareth is the school where we begin to understand the life of Jesus, the school of the gospel. First, a lesson of silence. May steam for silence that admirable and indispensable condition of mind revived in us then a lesson on family life may nazareth teach us what family life is its communion of love its austere and simple beauty and its sacred and inviolable character a lesson of work Nazareth, home of the carpenter's son. In you, I would choose to understand and proclaim the severe and redeeming law of human work. To conclude, I want to greet all the workers of the world, holding up to them their great pattern, their brother who is God. The Christian family a domestic church, CCC 1655. Christ chose to be born and grow up in the, bos in the bosom of the Holy Family of Joseph and Mary. The church is nothing other than the family of God. From the beginning, the core of the church was often constituted by those who had become believers together with all household when they were converted they desired that their whole household should also be saved these families who became believers were island of christian life in an unbelieving world ccc 1656 in our own time in a world often alien and even hostile to faith, believing families are of primary important as centers of living region faith. For this reason, the Second Vatican Council, using an ancient expression, calls the family the Ecclesia Domestica. It is in the bosom of the family that parents are by word and example. The first heralds of the faith with regard to their children, they should encourage them in the vocation which is proper to its child, fostering with special care and any relig religious vocation. CCC 1657. It is here that the father of the family, the mother, children, and all members of the family exercise the priesthood of the baptized in a privileged way by the reception of the sacraments, prayer, and thanksgiving. The witness of a holy family holy life, and a self-denial and active charity. Thus, the home is the first school of Christian life and a school of human enrichment. Here one learns endurance and the joy of work. Fraternal love, generous, even repeated forgiveness, and above all, divine worship in prayer 
and the offering of one's life. All, let the peace of Christ, Christ control, control your, heart. your hearts. Let the word of Christ, Christ dwell, dwell in you richly. O Supreme Will, come to reign upon the earth. Invest all generations, win and conquer all, and do not delay any longer. Amen. Fiat. Again, Merry Christmas. Thank you, Sister Lonnie. And Sister Lorgi, Father, do you have something to say, to add? <coughs> Yata na rinig ni Father Frank si Sister Weng eh. Ano ba? Ah. Ako ba? Yes, Father. Ano Sorry, daw si Ah, okay, okay, okay. You know, uh, I just remember now when I was a parish priest in Adamson, <laughs> I was there for, I think I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, six years as a parish priest. My homily was always on family life. And my dream was always to see the family come to mass together and during communion to see them all in line, beginning with the children, with the small ones, ending with the older ones. And uh, dream, my dream also was to see them going home singing the songs that we sing in the mass. And uh, it was partially accomplished. It was partially accomplished. Huh? But uh, I don't know what happened to it now. I tried to develop the basic Christian community uh, pastoral program. Uh, again, all of that uh, revolving around uh, the question of the domestic church. Uh, the real church is the is the home. I always said uh, there, uh, not only in uh, San Marcelino, but also in uh, in Pangasinan or wherever I was in the parish, that the parish is just a, a, a conglomeration of domestic churches. And when I say conglomeration, the gathering of domestic churches. And therefore, it is quite uh, very, very ideal, desirable that the church, they go to church together, the family. Or at least that everyone uh, has a place, has a place in their schedule for going to Mass, uh, at least on Sundays. Uh, uh, and uh, it was always my desire also that after uh, after the mass, because uh, it is also instilled in the mind of people that Sunday is a day of the family, is a family day. So after the mass, they can go out to eat or whatever, or when they go home, that they share what what their impressions, what they have heard during the mass, especially. Uh, from the word of God. They can exchange uh, uh, whatever impressions they would like to share. Uh, these are my, these are different ways of fostering or promoting uh, the richness of the domestic church. Now, again, uh, there is a new twist now, however, because in this domestic church, still the the, the, the leader are always the male, huh? But now uh, there is a new twist by Pope Francis saying that the church is a is a female church. First of all, we say uh, we say 
Mother Church. Uh, when we say Mother Church, it is a church that cares for the children. Uh, not only cares for the children, but also takes care not only of their faith, but also even in social affairs, even in the politics and so on. And therefore, uh, we should be free to really insist, especially on the on the virtues. If we develop the domestic virtues also socially, that would be fantastic. But uh, we are far from that. As a matter of fact, uh, what I am afraid of is that because of the of the popularity of social media, uh, what is being shared, whether it is lie or not, and when it is a lie, when it is shared by so many, it becomes truth. And that is the danger. Uh, that's why uh, it's also good that we we promote uh, truth and not 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 lies. Uh, even even among the media practitioners, sometimes they do not tell us really the truth. However, uh, they have to sell their uh, newspaper. So I don't know. I don't think. I don't think it is also. They, they will lose. Uh, they will lose buyers of their newspaper if they tell the truth more. But there is so much. So much untruth, uh, and because of the untruth, we also lose respect to one another. Uh, so again, all of this, all of this, should we we know should be developed in the church. Kaya nga siya nasabi dito, no, domestic church and uh, the the whole thing about the family. Uh, revolves around everybody praying together, uh, listening to one another. And, and now, uh, more than anything else, uh, we should uh, listen more to the people who are running the church right now. As, as, the, as the Holy Father said, most of the active people in the church are women. Even though uh, the leaders are men, However, the ones who are really moving are women. And that's why he uh, insisted that there should be uh, among the lay people that he, uh, that he invited to the synod were women. Our representative of the Philippines was a woman, Stella Padilla, uh, a theologian, but a woman just the same. So uh, we should now uh, give more power or more 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 uh, space to the women in our churches in our parish church and uh when the women are there i think they would uh situate that the the family values will be will be promoted hopefully uh, i hope that is the that is that is that is very 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 logical however so, really, this is very rich. Uh, this this readings, this meditation is very rich, and all of us can can take home many of these things, and they are very practical also. So that is my sharing about this. <clears throat> Thank you very much, for Father. <clears throat> can I ask a question, Brother Jerome? A question, Father, uh, on the subject of family and with respect to the, the bayon, yung, kasi related pa rin din naman po yung nilabas ni Pope Francis na fiducia, supplicants, on regarding ah. the blessing of the same sex. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Marami rin po kasing mga nag-oppose doon eh, at mara, it's divided yeah, yeah. in the, the, the ano rin. Iba ibang mga clergy and yeah, fiducia supplicant. That is uh, that is the title of the of the document. No, 
Yes, Pat. In Can which you share countries, your... <clears throat> let me let, let me just say this now. Yes. Uh, the context is this. Pope Francis likes the church that never refuses to attend to people coming to the church. And one of those people who are coming to the church are people who are same-sex couples. Now, what can the church do if, if, if the couple comes to the church? The church can always give a blessing. But the blessing is not the blessing that we that we uh, that we we invoke when you bless a house, or when you bless a candle, or when you bless the couple during marriage. In the uh, as a matter of fact, there is no rite, no ritual that is prepared. Uh, however, it's up to the priest, and the priest. Uh, must bless asking the Lord to take good care of this couple that they may be guided to the truth. You know, so any there is no fixed formula. So in other words, uh, the blessing is a blessing in response to people who are in need of God's help. Now, uh, I can even say, may the Lord uh wake you up to the truth or where they on uh in other words they should wake up to the truth that what they're doing is wrong but we are not ex we are not dismissing them we are attending to their plea to their petition for help and we should help them in the right way uh, not not uh not uh, confusing marriage. Marriage is still only for man and woman. So the blessing is not condoning couples, same-sex couples, are not condoning couples who are uh, who are separated from uh, from their original uh, husband or wife. We are not condoning that. We are just we are just uh responding to their plea for help and the help that we can give is that they can be guided to the truth basically okay uh, uh, is that does that make it clear okay father so father kunyari may dalawang lalaki nang mag holding hands o dalawang babae holding hands oh. o mag halikhingi ng blessing sa inyo yeah. okay lang po no problem. Sure. Okay lang. As a matter of fact, sabi nga, it should be in a casual way. Hindi yung i-schedule mo, ay, magulo yan. Pag in-schedule mo yan, eh, magkakawa ng photographer, magkakawa ng kung ano na ano. Hindi. Ano, yung, yung casual. Spontaneous. Yes, spontaneous. Yeah. And also, the formula will be spontaneous. Okay. Dapat di, yun nga, sabi nyo, that will Ano yun ba yun? For the truth? At baka yung for... Are you also going to invoke for repentance and conversion ba? Parang ganun, Father. Speak. Well, uh, do it in such a way na do it in such a way na the couples are not offended. Apo. Naghihingi nga ng tulong eh. Apo. Tapos eh, you will offend them pa. Eh, pwede naman ganyan. <laughs> Yes, Father. Thank you. Father. You have to be tactful. You have to be tactful. Oh. That, in other words, the important thing is we should have a posture of attending, paying attention to the to the help that they are asking, and then giving them what whatever help can be given. Charity for love. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Above all, charity. Father, so I hope this is not I hope that will not, that, that will help clear ano kasi marami nagtatanong eh uh, Father this is logic kasi of obs yeah. observation ko, father even in the mass uh, there are two gays 
uh, sitting in front of me, uh, witnessing uh, them. When the, uh, when the priestess, especially in the exchange of peace, peace yeah. be with you. So they kiss in front. <laughs> They're very proud that they are wow. gay. Yeah, well, they, 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 are call, they are calling attention, you know. They, they, That's well, it. May, may maroon naman tayo mga kanyon, tinatawag na kulang siya pansin. No? <laughs> Maraming tayo, maraming may namang mga, not only this kind of people, but other kinds of people also. So, we just have to understand. The idea is, again, uh, you can, you can, uh, yung response mo is not really approving, uh, but more uh, a friendly thing. Yeah. Don't enter into morality there. You are my friend because God loves you. No matter what, what we do, we still God loves everybody. Huh? God loves still everybody. Even those who are apparently for us committing sin. Because God still ex expects them to change their mind. By Father, by those who sees them. It's just like a Sometimes for me is just like a matter of correction that uh, you. Well, you know, what they need is not at that moment. What they need is an is is an affirmation, not a correction. If by correcting them, you will offend them, then. <laughs> Thank you, Father. It's a pastoral question also, you eh, know? That's right. No. So, God loves sinners, you know? <laughs> <laughs> sinners who are, who are coming to him for help. <laughs> so thank you, Paul, Father. <clears throat> oh. We continue pondering the word of God. Yes. In the light of the writings of the servant of God, Belisa Santa. Um, <clears throat> Sister Annie. I'm divinely in my reading and understand in what I'm going to read. Meditation 1, day 25. The Queen of Heaven in the Kingdom of the Divine Will. Nazareth, symbol and reality of the kingdom of the divine fiat, hidden light, the depository, the divine fiat, hidden light, uh, the depository source and perennial channel, the soul to her sovereign queen. Most sweet mama, here I am again at your maternal knees as I find you together with the little child Jesus and caressing him, you tell him your love story and Jesus tell you his. Oh, how beautiful it is to find Jesus and the mama speaking to each other. And the ardor of their love is so great that they remain mute and raptured. The mother in the son and the son in the mother. Holy mama, do not put me aside, but keep me with you. So that in listening to what you say, I may learn to love you and to do always the most holy will of God. Lesson of the Queen of Heaven. Dearest child, oh, how I long for you in order to continue my lessons on the kingdom, which the supreme fiat extended ever more within me. Now, you must know that for your mama, for dear and sweet Jesus, and for Saint Joseph, the little house of Nazareth was a paradise. Being the eternal word, my dear son possessed the divine will within himself, of his own virtue, immense seas of light, of sanctity, of joys, and of infinite beauty resided in that little humanity. I possess the divine will by grace, 
And even though I could not embrace immensity as did beloved Jesus, because he was God and man, and I was always his finite creature. Yet, in spite of this, the divine fiat filled me so much, having formed its seas of light, of sanctity, of love, of beauties, and of happinesses. And the light, the love, and everything that a divine will can possess, which came out of us, were so great that St. Joseph remained eclipsed, inundated, and lived of our reflections. Dear child, in this house of Nazareth, the kingdom of the divine will was in full force. Every little act of ours that is working, starting the fire, preparing the food, were all animated by the supreme volition and were formed on the solidity of the sanctity of pure love. Therefore, from the littlest to the greatest of our acts, immense joys, happinesses, and beatitudes were unleashed, and we remain so inundated as to feel ourselves as though under a pouring rain of new joys and indescribable contentments. My child, you must know that the divine will possesses by nature the source of joys, and when it reigns in the creature, it delights in giving. In each one of her acts, the new continuous act of its joys and happinesses. Oh, how happy we were. Everything was peace, highest union, and each of us felt honored in obeying the other. My dear son also competed in wanting to be commanded by me and by dear St. Joseph in the little jobs. Oh, how beautiful it was to see him in the act of helping his foster father in the smith work, or to see him take food. But how many seas of grace did he let flow in those acts for the good of creatures? Now, dear child, listen to me. In this house of Nazareth, the kingdom of the divine will was formed in your mama and in the humanity of my son to make of it a gift for the human family when they would dispose themselves to receive the good of this kingdom. But even though my son was king and I was queen, yet we were king and queen without a people. Our kingdom, though it could enclose all and give life to all, was deserted because redemption was needed first in order to prepare and dispose man to come into this kingdom so holy. More so, since it was possessed by me and by my son, who belonged to the human family according to the human order, as well as to the divine family by virtue of the divine fiat and of the incarnate word. And therefore, creatures received the right to enter into this kingdom, and the divinity gave the right and left the doors open to those who wanted to enter. So our hidden life of so many years served to prepare the kingdom of the divine will for creatures. And this is, is, and this is why I want to make known to you what the supreme fiat operated in me so that you may forget your will and as, to, and as you hold the hand of your mama, I may lead you into the good which with so much love I have prepared for you. Tell me, child of my heart, will you make me content and also your and my dear Jesus as we await you with so much love in this kingdom so holy to live together with us and to live only of divine will? Now listen, dear child, to another trait of love which my dear Jesus made for me in the house of Nazareth he made of me the depository of the whole of his life. When God does a work, he does not leave it suspended or in the empty space, but he always looks for a creature in whom to be able to enclose and place the whole of his work. Otherwise, there would be the danger that God might expose his works to uselessness, which cannot be. Therefore, 
My dear son placed in me his works, his words, his pains, everything. He deposited even he deposited even his breath into his mama. And when we drawn in our little room, he would speak sweetly and narrate to me all the gospels we want to preach to the public, the sacraments he wants to institute. He entrusted everything to me and depositing everything in me, he constituted me perennial channel and source because his life and all his goods were to come from me for the good of all creatures. Oh, how rich and happy I felt in feeling that all that my dear son Jesus did was being deposited, deposited in me. The divine will which reigned in me gave me the space to be able to receive everything. And Jesus felt the requital from his mama of love and glory of the great work of redemption. What did I not receive from God because I never did my will, but always his? Everything, even the very life of my son, was at my disposal. And while it remained always in me, I could bilocate it to give it to whomever would ask me for it with love. Mm -hmm. Now, my child, a little word to you. If you do always the divine will and never your own, and you live in it, I, your mama, will make the deposit of all the goods of my son in your soul. Oh, how fortunate you will feel. You will have a divine life at your disposal, which will give you everything. And I, acting as your true mama, will put myself on guard so that this life may grow in you and form in you the kingdom of the divine will. The soul, holy mama, I abandon myself into your arms. I am little daughter who feels the extreme need of your maternal cares. Oh, please, I pray you to take this will of mine and to enclose it in your heart. Never give it to me again that I may be happy to live always of divine will. And so I will make you and my dear Jesus content. Together, my mama, mama enclosed the divine will in my soul, my soul that it may take its prime place and form in it its throne and dwell. Oh, o supreme will come to reign upon the earth, invest all generations, win and conquer all. And do not delay any longer. Amen. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Sister Annie. Um, would like to ask Father. Yeah, Would well, like uh, it was a very long exposition, but uh, I think it's good for us to imagine the 30 years of the hidden life of Jesus and uh, it was a 30 years of experiencing uh, unity in the family conformity uh, developing holiness in each and, in, in each and everyone you know, it reminds me of the of one who tried to to write about the hidden life of Jesus, uh, and I, I was able to, I was able to read it when I was a seminarian, and uh, in there some of these things that was also mentioned here, like for example. Uh, Jesus playing with the other boys, also uh, dis disputing, uh, also competing with one another, also being uh, corrected by Joseph, his foster father, uh, all of that. In other words, Jesus, during that hidden life, really lived a, a truly human life. 
Uh, however, uh, it is more, I think, as from what I gather from this exposition, it is more so that we can understand uh, it was to prepare us, sabi nga, to prepare us so that during the three years of his public life, uh, we are disposed to to receive. No, now the length of time for us is is, is gone. No, because the, the the hidden life, the thirty years, tapos na yon. However, we can still uh, replay that so that we can learn also uh, as to how uh, Mary and Joseph. Uh, try to take advantage of that opportunity to enrich themselves uh, uh, with uh, wisdom and holiness and faith, uh, learning from Jesus. Uh, so uh, I think this, that is all what he's trying to say. You know? the, and uh, also, uh, I think uh, there we can see that uh, Mary also was trying to really, sabi nga na St. Luke, after uh, the finding of Jesus in the temple, uh, St. Luke said that uh, Mary did not understand what Jesus said when he said, don't you know I must be about my father's business? Mary did not understand. However, she went home pondering over them in her heart. And that is what, uh, that is the summary of St. Luke about the hidden life of Jesus, pondering over them in her heart. And I think it is what we should try to be doing also, uh, that we ponder over the divine will, that we ponder over the greatness of God's plan for us. The kingdom of the divine will is not a small kingdom, but it is a great kingdom because that is where uh, people are... Uh, are uh, uh, expressing the utmost of what they can be uh, because of the of the fact that we are uh, following the divine will. No? So it's not when you say kingdom of the divine will, it is kingdom of those in whom the divine will is really the main thrust their main uh, uh, vision that they can appreciate, they can follow the divine will, not only for themselves, but for the whole world. So I think that is all that is what that, that, that this uh, very long exposition is telling us. And uh, we need to be patient, uh, not, because of any, not because of anything, but because it takes us time. Uh, it takes us time. If even though uh, Mary was conceived without sin, uh, they, they had the privilege of being with Jesus for thirty years. Wow. We we uh, our 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 uh, occasional cynical cannot at all equate the length of time that Mary was with Jesus before the public life. So uh, let us continue to listen, to listen to the word of God, to listen to the proclamation of the divine will and to appreciate the role of the divine will, the centrality of the role of the divine will in our life. Yun lang. <clears throat> Thank you, Paul Father. So, um, it says here, Paul Father, na in this house of Nazareth, the kingdom of the divine will was formed in mm. your mama yeah. and in the humanity of my son to mm. make of it a gift for the human family when they would dispose themselves to receive the good of this kingdom. So, but they were king and queen without people. Mm. And although it could enclose all and give life to all, 
redemption was needed first in order to prepare and dispose man <clears throat> to come into this kingdom so holy. So, um, uh, they have already prepared everything, Father, the way our mother is telling it to us. Mm -hmm. But they have to wait for a certain period of time for redemption to be completed. And then with that, uh, they will open they will open this gift to uh, the believers. And uh, as um, Brother Jerome was saying earlier, the time has come because sin abounds and uh, God would want to give to open to us this gift because through this gift man would be able to uh, triumph to counter to live live out all these uh, things that are happening around us and would be able to um, uh, carry on with our faith <clears throat> So this gift of the divine realm. So, Brother Jerome, you're raising your hand. I just short one lang po tita. In this, mm -hmm. uh, yan po, just just hold on. You, we were king and queen without people. Mm -hmm. I was wondering in this royal, I know what is the role of Saint Joseph without the people? Mm -hmm. In one of the sections, he said he's the the minister. Is the minister of this kingdom. So, so far, ang sinabi lang dito, he lived by the reflections. Remain of, eclipsed, uh, inundated, and live out, live of our reflections. He was just Takas, living in the lang ng gracia. <clears throat> Since uh, both our mother and uh, our Lord are are really living in the light of the divine will. Uh, and since he is in between them, then he received all the light. But uh, as uh, mentioned, redemption is necessary so that he could actively receive the gift. And since redemption has not yet been fulfilled that time, so ano pa lang siya? Reflection pa lang lahat yun sa kanya. <laughs> so. Pag sinabing reflection, walang epekto po yun? Uh, na buwabanda lang, that. tumatagos lang sa kanya. Ano ba? Uh, Na-absorb niya po ba yung mga ano, acts nila? Na, I, I believe so. Na, yeah, Saint Joseph is a very holy man. Pero yun yana, he was not able to actively call our Lord Jesus in everything that he does. Yeah, I mean that's the way I I understand, I understand it. So hindi yung katulad na natin because redemption is already completed and the gift is ready for for us really at this time. And nakukuha natin lahat yun if we are disposed for it. And especially that time, wala pa yung Holy Eucharist. Which is very necessary to receive the gift. Kasi nga, redemption, tapos yun nga yung Eucharist. Baka dyan po papasok yung sa catechism kanina na in a, about silence. Si St. Joseph is a silent man. <laughs> <laughs> but whatever, he's such a holy man na uh, wherever well, our, our Lord yeah. and Mother are, nandun siya, kasama siya. Siguro, we can, this may help. Ah. Sabi ko nga kanina, St. Luke, uh, after the finding of Jesus in the temple, and then after uh, when Mary said, uh, didn't you know that your father and me have been looking for you? And then Jesus said, don't you know that I must be about my father's business? Now, what St. Luke said about Mary, that is, is, is she Ponder. kept pondering over them in her heart. 
Now, that's about Mary who is conceived without sin. So, if even Mary herself uh, was also overwhelmed with so many things, but it took her quite some time to really appreciate because of her humanity, the limitations of her humanity, much more with Saint Joseph, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Because Saint Joseph was not conceived without sin; he was a holy man, a wise man, uh, but he was still uh, he was still very much possessed by his humanity. Mm -hmm. That's why. Uh, because of his human wisdom, he wanted to divorce Mary quietly. But then came the, 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 the dream. Uh, an angel came, so went to him. So, uh, so St. Joseph so is, was conceived without sin. He was not. It was of course, it was not. But he was a holy man, and we, and 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 I would think I would think that uh, uh, in the Bible, when you say holy, it's a wise man too. No, it was a wise man, a prudent man. I know it's because of Brother Jerome, your your community. <clears throat> it's um Saint Joseph's community, that's why you're very interested with uh, those questions. But uh, you know, uh, Saint Joseph will will always be the one holding the key to our will, the Bada's adding consecration mm -hmm. to the divine will. Saint Joseph, you will be my or the guardian of my heart and will keep the keys of my will in your hands. John Paul II he, called him the custodian of the Redeemer. Mm -hmm. The guardian of the Redeemer. Redemptoris custodis. Mm -hmm. Yes. Redemptoris custos. Custos. So, up to now, uh, very important pa rin ang role niya. As far as so the hidden life of so many years served to, to prepare the kingdom of the divine will for creatures and um, everything that uh, are being mentioned to us uh, they are there so that we may forget so this term is very beautiful so that we may forget our will and we may um, set it aside and then let the divine will take over our life every single yeah, okay. act of our yeah. life so eclipsed uh, the human will to be uh, eclipsed by the divine will so um, and i think I, I think the 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 important thing here for us no uh don't worry if we shouldn't be in a hurry. No, we shouldn't be in a hurry to be able to say now I I now I I, I dispose of my will. No, hindi ganon kadali yun eh. Ah, as I as I keep telling before, no, uh, are you are humanity still there? Mm -hmm. Even though we wish to dispose of it, hindi ganon kadali yun eh. That's why I think that is also one of the Thing we should pick up from here the 30 years of hidden life kayo nagsisimula pa lang kailan lang ako ko nga hindi pa isang taon eh <laughs> alam mo uh, itong itong mga uh, mga I started also the neocatechumenate ano ha uh, I know of some who persevered but it was only 
it was only after about 20 years that they were baptized. Mm -hmm. I mean, they were baptized uh, fully aware of all the implications of what the faith is all about. So, so don't worry. Let's not be in a hurry. Let us just persevere. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yes, poor Father. And uh, desiring it is really a very good start with the knowledge yeah. and, that, uh, and the desire. Then, uh, as uh, what we have taken up last week, then Jesus would be conceived in our whole being, in our soul. And that would be a beautiful beginning, uh, as we always call him in all our actions. And uh, by the way, Father, dito po sa hidden life, it was said na our Lord Jesus uh, redeemed all our human acts. He divinized all our human well, acts. So that as we enter into Him, then we will be able to uh, avail of these uh, perfected acts in Him. So The whole life of him, Jesus redeemed us. <laughs> The whole life of Jesus redeemed us from beginning from his conception up to up to now. I mean, he continues to redeem us. Mm -hmm. Tita Wen, yeah. si, si Mama Mary, ba when she did her acts, may nagsasabi pa ba siya kam divine will to cook in my cooking o natural lang sa kanya meron divine act na yung ginagawa niya? In her cooking, in her paglalaba or whatever. Um, this is just my uh, my guess. <laughs> See, her human will had been put to uh, to sleep, set aside from the first instant of her conception. So everything is divine will in her, such that every act that she has she did all throughout her life yes had been divine will and so kaya nga sabi niya dito what she, uh, our lord is by nature she is by grace so i'm sure she doesn't have to call kasi yun na yung life kaagad niya from the very beginning eh. unlike us for example um the average year the, the average age that uh, the divine, the little children of the divine will would receive the gift is uh, like uh, 50. So, ang dami ng mga uh, human acts no, na nag take place and they're not used to calling our Lord Jesus and the divine will in, the, in all their acts, which is contrary to what happened to our mother. Kasi wala siyang ibang life kundi yun, yun na yun. So, very natural na sa kanya yung pagka uh, lahat ng kilos niya would all be divine will. Yeah. Father, what do you think po? So, kay, siguro kay Mamina, ginawa niya yan. Yung kam... Oh, yes. Kay, yeah, uh -oh. In my cooking, ganyan, uh -oh. right, in my yes. writing. Yes, yeah, sa kanya itinuro talaga yun para makuha uh -huh. natin. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, ang, ang ano kasi natin, we, we tend to... I don't know. Mary was a human being, a human being, conceived without sin. And she was always aware of, uh, of, of God's will. But uh, nothing extraordinary, just, just like anyone. Even Jesus, no? Jesus was just like any, any other child during his time when he was growing up. Uh, well, uh, yung, the fact that uh, he was able to argue with the teachers of the law in the temple, well, that's, but but normally he was just, in, in other words, what I'm trying to say is, let's not belittle, let, let, let us not parabang takpan yung pagkatao, kaya nga Jesus is God man eh. Man and God. So there is the pag, yung pagkataon na doon. 
Eh, Mama Mary, pagkataon nandun. Uh, yun lang na, yung pagkataon ni Mama Mary was no longer subject of the original sin. No. Uh, But anything that a human person does, it was also, she, she was doing also. So yun lang ang gusto kong anuhin. <clears throat> yes po, Father. Um, actually, kahit po sa little children at the Divine Will, um, it's just a matter of changing the will. Uh, not the actions. Uh, so whatever we do in our everyday life, the same thing that we do, except of course for sin, which we are trying really to delete and eliminate in our life. But uh, it's it's uh, just changing the will, animating the acts. So instead of the human will, this time it's the divine will. So the way we understand it, Pope Father, it, It's always the divine will that our mother uh, yeah, yeah. We choose to animate all her acts. Mm. So But I would say, I would say, externally, just the same as anybody else. But yes. internally, because the divine will is part of your internal right. eh, motivation, your yes. faith, mm -hmm. invisible. Mm -hmm. Yes, Paul. That's it, Paul, Father. Hmm. So, a life ordinary in the extraordinary. Yes, Because yes, of yes. Because factor animating the ordinary act. Yung pag-igib niya sa tubig when she went to Elizabeth, mabigat mm -hmm. yun. Hindi man gumaan yung tubig eh. Mabigat. And mm -hmm. she had to carry it. I don't know how many how many steps. So my dear, you need to know the lead. Yes. Oh. Father, it's past ten. I <laughs> think so. The so, Lord be with you. And with you. yours. yours. Yeah, yeah. Might the God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And good night. Good night, Paul. Thank you, Father. Good night. 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 Good night.